We're back, baby. Bitcoin touched $24,000. And for the last few weeks, the question hasn't been if I should buy, but it's what should I buy? For the past year, I've been all in on Ethereum and Layer 2s, but I want to take a second look at one of my favorite ecosystems, Phantom. Andre Kranje, the father of DeFi, has returned to the Phantom Foundation in a very public way. I want to talk about the latest things that have been happening on Phantom, new projects that have been launching, and why Phantom doing a 2x from here seems too easy and why it deserves to be on your watch list. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crypto with Nick. I'm a crypto enthusiast and DeFi investor, and I'm always looking for the best strategy. If you caught my latest YouTube video on liquid staking derivatives, I hope you're enjoying those healthy gains. Be sure to come follow me on Twitter, hit the subscribe button, and come join the free community Discord. But let's get into today's video. And of course, timestamps are below, so if you want to jump right into the latest projects that have been launching on Phantom, feel free to skip ahead. This tweet right here from Andre kicked off the Phantom bull run, and it's what got me interested in Phantom again, an inside financial peek at being a crypto company. Before we dive into the article, I just want to pinpoint this tweet on the Phantom price chart, because look at this, on November 28th, it basically called the bottom on Phantom and it kicked off this massive run, and of course, I believe it can go even higher. And since November, what we can see here is a massive, let's check it out, 193% gain. If we just take a look at DeFi Llama and we scroll down here, we can still see that Phantom is the eighth largest ecosystem and it's seen a massive inflow. We can see up 28% TVL in the last month alone, sitting around $500 million. And with that in mind, that makes every single thing in this ecosystem a micro cap primed to explode if it gets the right traction and momentum. Now, I'm not going to read this whole article because I don't think it's necessary, but if you get some free time, be sure to pull it up and check it out. But it tells the story how Phantom was able to grow its treasury to this massive war chest where they have over 30 years of runway. They also talk about gimmicks and marketing stunts that they passed on to go ahead and continue investing in their ecosystem. Here you can see on October 22nd, an NFT exchange asked them for $100 million to deploy and they pass on it. But let's focus here on November 22nd, where they have over 30 years of runway left without having to touch Phantom. And that's massive because the way that most projects raise liquidity or raise funds is they have to sell off their tokens. You can, of course, also check out their sources of income and revenue where they run the nine validators and it makes about 4.1 million Phantom a year. Of course, they talk about the network revenue where they earn 10% of all transactions, right? And you can dive into these different things if you're interested in catching up on more of it. We now know that Phantom has this massive treasury and the next step is to incentivize builders and developers to come build on Phantom. And they've done that by passing some new proposals. I wanted to highlight one of the latest proposals of bringing gas modernization to successful DAP. And this is massive for developers because this opens up a whole new revenue stream for them. This rewards applications that are successful that build on Phantom and generate a ton of volume for the ecosystem. And another thing Phantom has done to incentivize builders is they go ahead and collect 10% of all transaction fees and they put it in this ecosystem vault which just launched a few weeks ago and you can see it already has almost $70,000. And how this works is teams could go ahead and create proposals on the Phantom governance forms and if it passes with the 55% rate they can get paid out from this vault. And the last thing we're going to talk about on the Phantom ecosystem side is the Phantom Virtual Machine, which is a massive catalyst for developers to build on Phantom. If you've ever worked with the Ethereum Virtual Machine or if you've talked to some developers, they will tell you it's painfully slow. And this is where Phantom's coming in with the new and improved Phantom Virtual Machine. I'm not going to spend too much time getting into the technicals because I think that's boring for most people. But all you have to know is that the Phantom Virtual Machine is significantly faster and uses less storage, which is always a win. The first project we're going to talk about is actually called Mummy Finance, which is a fork of one of my favorite projects, GMX, which I've mentioned many times here on this channel. And normally I would ignore these clones and forks because these projects usually never do too well. But GMX is such a fantastic product and they don't have a presence on Phantom that Mummy Finance might be able to fill that gap. And in just a few weeks, the project has already done $150 million in total trading volume, $2.7 million in open interest, meaning longs and shorts, as well as already attracted 3,500 users. Now, if you're not familiar with GMX and you're new here, this is the decentralized perpetual protocol platform that allows users to go long or short with up to 30x leverage. But what's really interesting about this project is there's two sides to it. There's the traders who go long and shorts, and then there's the users that provide liquidity for those traders and kind of act as the house or the casino here. So there's two types of tokens here. There's Mummy MMY, which is going to be the governance token of the platform and accrues 30% of all fees generated. And then there's MLP, and this is going to be the liquidity provider token of the platform, and this accrues 70% of all fees. And when you buy something like MLP, you're providing the liquidity for the platform. It's like acting as the house or the casino where traders can come in and play blackjack or poker. And when they lose, you take their money. But if they win, you have to pay them out. But as they always say, the house always wins. 
So if you come here and buy MLP, you're going to be paid out 127% APR. 27% is going to be in phantom tokens. That's real yield. This means fees generated from the platform are being redirected to you. You're also going to get 100% an escrowed mummy. This means it is going to take one year to fully vest, but it does unlock linearly. Then of course there's mummy, the governance token of the platform. You're going to get paid out only 30% of fees. Remember MLP is 70%. So a little bit less, only 11% in phantom, but this is great. This is real yield. This is what we always want. And then 54% in escrowed mummy. Remember again, one year to vest this fully. Now, GMX is a massive project. It's done hundred billion dollars in total volume and it has a 600 million market cap. But you start to wonder something like mummy, could this be 5% of GMX, 10% of GMX? And so right now things are looking great. I mean, obviously this is a brand new project, only a few weeks old. So we're looking at only a 10 million market cap. What really what matters here is the 1.4 million liquidity, meaning that this project can easily move up and down. Of course, with any new project, there are risks, but mummy should be on your watch list. The next project I'm really excited to talk about is actually called Equalizer. And this is actually a new and improved version of Solidity. If you don't know Solidity, it was actually a picture initially created by Andre Cronre. About 11 months ago, I did a video on it. The problem with this project is it had some bugs and fatal flaws. And with the contracts being immutable, meaning they couldn't be changed, the whole thing kind of just fell apart. But the idea was so genius, I'm really happy someone's bringing it back to life. And so the team at Equalizer took the original projects, they fixed the bugs in the code, they put their own spin on things, and I'd love to walk through it. To understand the power of Equalizer, we first have to talk about a few quick concepts on why a project like this is even needed when we already have things maybe like Uniswap or SushiSwap. First thing is understanding slippage, being able to exchange one asset for another. Equalizer provides two different types of tools. We have things known as volatile pools, which is assets that are not relatively pegged to the same value. And then we have stable pools and assets that we would expect pegged to the same value. And this is a massive advantage over to traditional AMMs because that means we're able to exchange a large amount of liquidity with incredibly low slippage and fees. Another thing we need to talk about is how projects encourage liquidity, which is usually through token emissions, which is just a terrible design. This means as a project, I have to inflate my circulating supply and give away free tokens so that people will provide liquidity for me. And so what something Equalizer is trying to do is improve on the curve wars. And if you aren't familiar with that concept or what that is, I have some videos, definitely go check them out. As a quick summary, over on the curve platform, I can go ahead and lock up my curve token and receive voting power. And I can vote on which pool should receive curve emissions. And projects figured out this was a much, much more beneficial way to attract liquidity for their tokens. Rather than inflating their own tokens, what they could do is give bribes to curve token holders to vote for their pools and redirect the curve emissions. And what Equalizer has done is built bribes directly into this platform where if you go ahead and vote for these pools, you'll receive a portion of these bribes directed to you. So it's a revenue source for holders. To recap how this works, you would accumulate the equal token, which is great because that decreases the circulating supply and the selling pressure. And you would create a lock, which essentially gives you an NFT and voting power. Then what you can do is vote for different pools and you would get a portion of these bribes. We can see here in a total equal supply, there's only 3.1 million, but right now only 1.2 million are in circulation. But out of that, we can see that 70% of them are actually locked, which is 850,000 equal, meaning a very small amount of equal, only 350,000 are even on the open market, right? Being able to swap and buy. And we can see here, this flywheel has really made equal go parabolic. Again, only 3 million in liquidity, around 3.64 million in market cap. So just something to be mindful of. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed about hearing about all the new project updates and things going on at Phantom. I think we've covered two great new projects that are up and coming, Mummy and Equal. And if you ever have any questions, drop me a DM on Twitter. Again, come join the completely free community Discord. Cheers, happy farming. See you in the next one.